Got all excited, got these unloaded. Just go right back in the car. Shot, all right? They fit. They bolt up. Nah, we gotta get them. Shit, man. Man, these tires are so fast they're trying to go away. <laughs> no lie, that would actually look pretty sick. <laughs> Alright, hold it. What's happening everybody? It is Monday. We just got back to Ryan's shop from doing some stuff in St. Joe. We've actually had a really productive morning um, getting some stuff done, which is very untypical for us, but we have kind of a load of things that we picked up and I'll let Ryan talk about it a little bit. So we went by ABC, our local paint supply store, picked up everything we need to paint Ryan's wing. Stopped by good old Harbor Freight. We got a few more things. Ryan picked up a paint gun. And then I also went and bought some shoes. Did not buy some shoes, I just had some stuff in my house. We stopped sanding paper, sanding blocks, that kind of thing we're gonna need to paint El Wingo. Man, it's fucking nice out. It is really nice out. Compared to this morning to now, it's really, really nice. Yeah. Doing a little bit of spring cleaning. Anyway, so Ryan got, he bought a paint, a paint sprayer from Harbor Freight. It's pretty good. It wasn't like super cheap, or was it 70 bucks? Yeah, but get that 20% off coupon, and you got the free microfibers. Yeah, man, cutting deals. So it'll be okay, we're not painting a, a show car or anything, but it'll be fine for the wing. Do, uh, a lot of people talked about do a good the job. Like $30 one being pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, I figure the $30 one's pretty good. As long as that one will stay nice, just clean it up after I'm done with it every time. Not like I'm gonna be shooting cars every other week with it. Yeah, true that. While we were in town, we also stopped by a wheel and tire shop. They do alignments and all that kind of stuff there. We dropped my wheels off, um, had the tires taken off of those, or having the tires taken off because I sold those. So One day, sold them in like six hours. Yeah. So, that's impressive. It was pretty good. Pretty stoked on that. I got quite a bit of money out of them. So, I'll get a new set ordered. That way we can start with fresh slicks, don't have to worry, or radials, don't have to worry about um, have any need worry about them being used or anything we'll know that we have fresh tires right out the gate so should be good should be good for a whole season hopefully anyway anyway we're just gonna kind of mess around Ryan's taking a look at some things we're gonna do some cleaning of the shop we've left things kind of in se severe disorder the past couple weeks so do some maintenance around here and then if we have any time left might get some stuff done in the car you know what we did not get what I'm gonna need hmm. some inline filters I didn't think about that. Because I do not have a water separator on that air compressor. I'm also going to need a regulator. I'm going to have to regulate that down. Mm -hmm. so that's at like 120 some PSI. Alrighty, so I'm going to need to buy some more stuff. I might buy the regulator off the snap on truck, so we'll see. make a body guy out of you yet. How do you feel about your sanding job? Not good. Not good? Yeah, like I just can't get like I can't get that in that crack no matter how it doesn't have to be perfect know, as long yeah. as it's scuffed. I only half ass yeah. You wanna try to get this sprayed on Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah I might uh Depending on how far it goes, I might uh, wipe it down real nice and good and like shoot a coat of primer on it. Ooh, we also should have got some. Uh, are you going to go to the store yeah, and I'm get the to... regulator and stuff? Yeah. You're going to want some um, tack cloth. cloth. Yeah, I, well, I saw it there while we were there, but. Eh. And some wax and grease remover. You got any wax and grease remover? I got wax and grease remover. So, as you can see, Got this back area here cleaned up a little bit. It doesn't look too bad. Made a little bit more space, but it'll just get 
messed up again. So while I've been doing that, organizing, putting a couple things away. I also did a little bit of work over here. Um, I think I already said that I got the thermostat housing all bolted on and then I spent a little bit of time trying to get these coolant lines ran, these heater lines ran. Um, it's pretty tight in here after this alternator relocation. It's really tight actually and I, I can't really find anything online. Anyone runs a different, kind of a different setup so we'll stick with that for now. I don't think we'll have any leaks or anything but if I'm finding that it's causing too much heat in this whole area from the turbo because everything is all kind of close. And um, we'll have to kind of come back and take a look at that. Otherwise, I think that's about it. As far as stuff gonna get done on this car today, we've really been just kind of getting our ducks in a row and other places. Ryan's been doing a lot of sanding on this wing. We absolutely have to get a move on on this, so we'll probably spend quite a bit of time Wednesday um, trying to get that thing painted or at least get a start on it because this show is coming up in a couple weeks. This car, one out of 10 chance it's gonna be there. Never, probably never gonna happen. Uh, but Ryan's car for sure is gonna gonna be there so we're gonna go to the uh, storage unit get that out here pretty soon not today but probably sometime this week and get get kind of going on that because it'll be a couple weekends before that's here but other than that I think we are gonna call it for today Ryan has got to take up to work and I got um, class later this evening so we will check back in tomorrow all righty what up guys it is Wednesday uh, I did not get my ship primed yesterday <coughs> oh, excuse me on Monday night, uh, on my way home from work, I blew a tire. So my truck yesterday, I was swapping tires on it, get it to the tire shop, put some new ones on. And it was raining and cold and everything. Uh, so Jesse's, we already wiped that down with some wax and grease remover. Jesse's hitting it with a tack cloth real quick. Uh, and then we're going to shoot some primer on it, head to St. Joe, pick up my pickup, and uh, kind of go from there. So. It Rattle can professional right here. So we're not actually rattle canning the whole the whole wing. This is just a, a build up primer. Comes in a rattle can. And then we actually have a spray gun to use to spray the rest of it. Or to spray to spray the color, I should say. Did you read the can to see how many coats? I did not. Bruh. <laughs> Five ten minutes between coats. Two to three medium. Coat. There you go. I say three. Who the fuck reads a guy to spray paint? <laughs> oh, Come on, it's build up primer, oh, man. That bullshit. <laughs> spray until it's the same color. Since it is a high build primer, we're not too concerned with any particles or dirt in the air getting into it. I mean, a little bit, but it gets sanded off, or we will sand the wing after the, all the primer dries, so make it look nice and clean. And then if it's not too windy, we may take it out to my shop to actually spray it, or just say it and just paint it out here. I ain't looking for a show car, I'm just looking for a white. So we're gonna get that gray, that color, that primer is gonna hide that the red really well. Yeah, it already is and it's just like a half ass too. Yeah. Plus white underneath red kinda makes it pop. Not that, not that it's gonna say it's gonna match my shit. But... White underneath red, you mean red underneath white? Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> All right, so we are now back at the shop. We went to St. Joe, went and picked up Ryan's truck, and now Ryan's throwing on a little guide coat of just some regular spray paint. Let it dry. It is literally fast drying spray paint. Uh, we're doing this for a little, <laughs> yeah, really fast drying. I don't know where I got this shit from, but it is generic as a motherfucker. It's all right. It serves a purpose. So what he's doing here is putting on a little, a little coat of this, and this will act as a guide coat when we're sanding it, probably not really needed, but hey, we're trying to be as professional as we can around here. And then after that, after we do some sanding, we'll clean her off and then get it set up to spray the actual, actual white coat. That is streaky as a mother. It'll be all right. Technically, we should all get sanded off. You best turn that 1320 hoodie white. Yeah. So how many
many coats is that on it now? No, no. Man, accuracy. Let's like spray into that cup empty, guy. <laughs> It's not like I'm worried about it gonna show car accurate. As long as it looks good, fucking gapping motherfuckers. All right. I mean, it is the back. So they see. Yeah, they're gonna see that scuffed ass right corner <laughs> on the back too. I have to worry about it. It's all right. What's up? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. What the fuck? Knocking up dust in our spray booth out here? So today is Wednesday the 20th. Today is Wednesday the 20th. That means we have this weekend and the next weekend and then the car meet, um, the streetcar takeover. I think it's the kickoff party. The kickoff party? The kickoff party, that's what it is. Is in exactly two weekends, so on the 6th. So this thing is painted now. This wing is painted now. I gotta paint the grill insert. Gotta paint the grill insert. Gotta cut the other grill to fit the other grill insert, or the new grill insert in. It's like a 10 minute job, homie. I know, but you gotta get it like, right, you know, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta get it. You wanna feel the grabs. You gotta get close. So anyway, two weekends. <laughs> I'm gonna be gone the weekend before I'm going out of town. That means, in that time, we have to get it wet sanded, buffed, Installed. Got to paint the cage. Got to strip the full interior, paint the cage. Got to put the interior back in. We can do that the night that we done that before. We have. It'll probably be the night before. The Friday night before, we will be last minute throwing this bitch Friday back night together. Before, I'll be at work. I'll be here throwing this bitch back together. Cause Ryan will be at work. That's how we do it. Apparently. That's how we all. How, that's how we all. Uh, uh, uh. That's how we've yeah, always done it. That's how we've always done it. <clears throat> yeah, that's how we've always done it. It's alright though. It's part of it. After we get this gun cleaned up, Ryan has to head off to work. So I think we're pretty much done for today. Other things pretty much happening this week. Uh, my new t my new radials coming tomorrow, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna take those my wheels to the shop and get those mounted, or to the um, the tire shop and get those mounted. So those will be ready. And then within the, next, within the next couple days, whenever we get time, we're going to try to get that wing sanded, actually, wet sanded and, and um, buffed out so we can get it put on his car when, when it comes over here. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to check out the last few videos to kind of see where we're, uh, the progress we've made up to this point, and make sure to follow us on the gram. We post a lot of stuff on there as well. But other than that, keep streak.